Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about the card component from Angular Material. Before we begin, make sure to add Angular Material to your project. If you're using Visual Studio Code, open the terminal by pressing the Ctrl and Tilde keys and then execute the ng add command. Select a theme, set up a typography, and enable Angular animations. The card component is an element with a default drop shadow effect. There are three main sections to the card. The header, the content, and the footer. The header is the top area of the card. It can have an icon, a title, and a subtitle. The content area is located underneath the header where we place all our contents for the card. And the footer is the area anchor at the bottom of the card. Before we can use the card component, we have to add the material card module to our project. Go to the add module TypeScript file and import the material card module. Then add it to the app. To begin, go to the app component HTML page and add the mat card element. This will create a blank area for our card. To see it better, we will wrap our card within a div and give it some style so we can see the card. To add the header section, add the mat card header element inside the card. With this, we can add the title, subtitle, and icon for our card. For the title, we use the mat card title element. For the subtitle, we use the mat card subtitle element. And for the icon, we use a regular image element and apply the mat card avatar property. As you can see, we have our title, subtitle, and icon. To add content, we just place our contents underneath the header element. To place images, we use the regular image element along with the mat card image property. This will stretch the image width to match the card's width. For text, we should put them inside the mat card content element. And for buttons and other interactive elements, we should place them inside the mat card actions element. One advantage of using a mat card actions element 
is that we can change the alignment of the elements by setting the align property. We can use start to align the elements to the left or end to align the elements to the right. Lastly, to add the footer, just add the mat card footer element to the card. This will create a container that will be anchored at the bottom of the card. We can put content inside and it will show up at the bottom. That's all for the card component. If you have questions, leave a comment in the comment section. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video.